connect to the board via Wi-Fi and click on to the controls. Now go to config and 2D configuration. This is where we can tell WLED what sort of matrix we have. Here I've got a 2D matrix. In my case, my matrix is eight by eight. So the default dimensions are correct for me. However, your matrix may be different size. So put in the correct settings for your matrix. As I only have one board, I leave everything else the same and I click on save. We now need to go back to the LED preferences menu and set up the correct number of LEDs, in my case 64, as I have an 8x8 matrix. And here I am connected to pin GPIO2. You may be connected to a different pin. I also select a slightly lower default brightness as I find the standard one a little bit bright and click on save. Once you've clicked on save, all the LEDs on your matrix should light up. This confirms that you've got everything connected correctly and set up at least basically correct. If this does not happen, check your connections, check your settings. Back into the controls, we've now got a whole list of effects. At the bottom of the list, there is some handy icons for selecting different types or filtering different types. I'm going to select the 2D matrix type. And the first one I like to use is one called scrolling text. This is a good way of checking that you've got everything set up correctly. As you can see, I have a scrolling time and date on my 8x8 matrix. If you do not get this or the matrix display is corrupt, go back into your settings and check everything is correct. We're now going to go through a couple of different effects at random. First one is called Akame or Akame. Apparently this moves to the beat of the music if you have a microphone connected. The next one is DNA, which is a sort of scrolling helix, which I like very much. Looks a lot nicer on a larger matrix. Next one is fireworks. Maybe shouldn't have picked this one, not the most demonstrative example. And then a version of Conway's Game of Life. Again, a lot of these examples look a lot nicer on a larger matrix. Back to the scrolling text example. Below here, there are some controls you can use to control things like the speed, the position, and the size of the text. Here I'm attempting to make the text size a little bit smaller. Once you release the control, as you can see, the text is now slightly smaller. You can also move the text up and down. And here I've slowed the scrolling down slightly. In future videos, I hope to show some of the effects on larger matrices, as well as showing how to connect several matrices together to create a larger display. As always, if you have any problems or questions, do not hesitate to contact me.